Hi Gemini's welcome back to the channel everybody I hope you're doing fabulous Gemini you've been through some tough times Gemini you your reads are either really really good or really really not so good so Gemini let's hope for positive messages today guys if you're new here no I will be doing an infinite energy oracle deck give away I'm going to give away 24 decks in total guys valued at 111 and 11 cents each deck so all you have to do is to be eligible to enter the draws be a subscriber so please do so guys good luck gemini i'll start off with some goddess energy on this and see what's going on for gemini start delegating gemini ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. This has come out for you three days, Gemini. Unconditional love. Love yourself and others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. So we know that Gemini is very loving and very devoted and has unconditional love. Maybe you believe in Mary Magdalene's unconditional love. But Spirit is saying sometimes we got to get help from others and ask others for help instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Hathers, receptivity, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and the ability to give to others. That's what's come out for you before. Ain energy, a leap of faith, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Hmm. Gemini manifestations guardian angel you've been asked to take a step back from a situation or for someone in or from someone in order to manifest you might have to start delegating responsibilities to others. Ask your guardian angels. This is spiritual growth, joy and contentment. Time to nurture yourself. You are the journeyer. Hmm. The shadow of loss is here. Hmm. Uh, some type of an illusion. Danger or fear. Hope is here. Stay hopeful. Hmm. You definitely have guardian angels looking out for you, Gemini. Something to do with a birth. My dog is rustling his bed. 
What is going on? Danger of fear. Dancer of fear. What is going on here? Honestly, I forgot to respond. Nothing personal, but I feel you are a little more invested than me. Fear. I felt things were moving too fast and panicked. I wasn't in a space to handle anything heavy. I was using you as a distraction to get away from the other person. Narcissism. I got what I wanted out of the relationship. <clears throat> but this person was all about their own needs. What the hell? Unrequited. Too selfish to realize that their actions hurt you, Gemini. You may have loved this person unconditionally, Gemini, as I know that you guys are very loving and very generous and very giving, but it might be time now to love of self and accept help from others. You might have to delegate some workloads or delegate responsibilities. So somebody just might be avoiding you. Maybe you're avoiding someone. You're still upset. You're releasing the past and healing the inner child. This could have been a soulmate who did this to you or thought you were going to be their life partner. And then it just ended. You've been reflecting each other's inner wounds. Although there is insane chemistry. <sighs> Damn. There's been a sudden change or some shocking news. You might be getting back out there, meeting someone new. Or maybe you're dating online. Looking for a higher commitment, eternity, a partnership. So you're like, not today. I don't know. Gemini, if it's you or the other person that have been hurt and avoiding conversation, not dealing, I'm still upset. Maybe you caught somebody online dating or something like that. Let's see the dark shadows and the dark side. What are they hiding here? What's going on in the dark that Gemini needs to know about? Hmm. Hmm. The journey from darkness to light. This was like somebody may have taken the forbidden fruit. I don't know, or maybe it's the forbidden fruit that they were after. I don't know. Causing grief. Banshee spirit. Disconnection. You're like, nope, not dealing. 
Not getting back in this cycle. Hmm. No reciprocity. The heck is the proper terminology of a banshee? Is that the dream thief? Bear with me, guys. Banshee, a female spirit in Gaelic folklore who has the appearance or wailing warns a family that one of them will soon die. A banshee will howl. Holy Jesus. Someone may be crossing, transitioning. What the hell is this? Gemini? Somebody could have heard a banshee or seen a banshee spirit. Gemini. This is three of swords, two of swords, the world. Oh, jeez. Hmm. An emperor? Chaos? Something about a child? There's the howling, you know, what the hell is this? Morning. Morning. I have to say it. It could be a child of the emperors. Sudden. Lies, deception, cheating. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the banshee spirit comes at night. <clears throat> you know, the howling of the banshee is like they better watch out. The banshee comes 
usually to signify a loss of a loved one. Sometimes the banshee will come to us in our dream state, in our dreams. Warning. It's a war as a warning. Uh, there could be a sudden loss. And I have to say it because it's here. A child, especially if somebody is doing um, spiritual work for bad purposes. Uh, it could be a sudden financial loss that cannot be avoided. They cannot stop this. This is spiritual protection. Yes, it is spiritual protection here. Somebody was manipulating. Something to do with manipulating a past person or manipulating... Mm, I don't know what this is. Uh, what the hell is this going on here? There's too many people involved here, guys. If someone was doing witchcraft for ill intent, doing manipulation spells, these are practitioners. Um, they're going; they could lose one of their children. Lies, deceit, and manipulation. It might be turning back on the person who sent out the spiritual attacks. It could be going back upon their own households. Oh, Jesus. That's the truth, spirit saying. Somebody just like sitting back. These could be confusion spells, you know. Somebody could have involved like a practitioner or a couple of practitioners to create an illusion. It could be returning back to sender. And the Banshee has signified and has give warning that if they persist and they continue to do their spell work it will be at the cost of one of their children mm-hmm
someone being very self-indulgent. Mm -hmm. Materialistic. There is. <clears throat> okay. Yep. They're going to get their karma, whatever is going on here. Hmm. It's like someone setting a trap for somebody to fall into. An illusion trapping somebody in their mind. Fool. Spirits calling this person out as a fool. It's a higher authority here. This is God, the, the man, you know what I mean? The woman, whoever God is. It's return to sender. It's the affinity symbol. Somebody wish death on somebody. Practitioners getting involved, doing death spells and shit like that. Stepping up their game, ramping up their game. The result will be the Banshee is here, man. Surrender. Give it up. Somebody could actually lose their life here. Or a death of a child. Sending out negative. I'm telling you, it's return to sender. Somebody is <coughs> casting some kind of negative fiery darts. I want a God's chosen, and it will result in death. I have to say it. This is death magic going on, and it could be another lover doing it. Just to come in between this love situation, they will reap their karma. They cannot control karma. This is divine order. This is karmic justice. So whatever they did, whatever these people are doing, 
just to destroy a relationship? Doing things in the dark, I'm telling you. Heavy burdens. I don't know if this is a baby mama causing someone doing death magic or death spells causing somebody. They're gonna, I don't know if it's sex magic, covens, groups. Spirits like vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Somebody could be passing away. They will be mourning. What the hell are they doing? For money? <sighs> are you serious? Just to get, like, wealth or rich? No, no, no. Oh, my God. Somebody's like just wanting vengeance. They they they're being warned. Stop doing it. It could cause the illness or the death of a family member or a child. They need to stop doing whatever they're doing. Manipulation spells, whatever it is, the banshee is howled. Is somebody calling a banshee? My God. Whoever this energy is they're going to pass away people are inexperienced they don't know what they're doing all over what Money? Not good. This is someone who will go to Hades to get their power just to destroy someone's relationship? Are you kidding me? Well, when that happens, is, you know what I mean? There's a price to pay for that. You know, you don't get these services without the debt collector coming to collect the debt. You know what I'm saying?
Why do people insist on doing that still? Oh, yeah, I know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't want to know what they're doing. <laughs> Not allowed to say. It's none of my business just to read the message, and that is the message. Your phoenix rising from the ashes, Gemini. Clarity and truth. I don't know what's going on here, Gemini, other than someone was being just too foolish to see and to recognize the hurt that they caused you. I don't know, man. What did this person do? I have to go down to make a deal with the devil in order to get their way or what? Karmic energies doing things they should not be doing. Maybe it's this masculine themselves doing that, but somebody is like delving into things they should not be delving into it's going to have a devastating backlash I mean I'm not talking about people who just end relationships hey it didn't work out you know what I'm saying I'm talking about people who are doing black magic in order to control a situation no doubt there's a karmic involved and it may be at the loss of their own child sad and grim as that is they need to stop doing it you know sometimes people even don't even realize that they're doing dark magic but just by their thoughts you know wishing people dead or wishing people would die. Wishing ill upon others is, you know, somebody's listening to that. And it might be to their own demise. It is somehow related to the Emperor and who the Emperor is dealing with. Love yourself, Gemini, and others. 
It's telling you to allow yourself to receive unconditional love. You may have to start delegating and asking for help because you might be feeling like you have to do everything alone or by yourself. You might need to recharge your batteries and it's telling you to be around water, go to the ocean or to a lake or a river. Time to detox. Maybe you might have to do a detox of uh, your body and your mind. And your heart has propelled the universe. To deliver a great love to you. So. It's what the universe is saying. I love you Geminis. Take care of yourselves. You may have been through a lot. Take care, Gemini.